So hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. It's such a pleasure to meet you today. Um, I mean, this film is being sort of wildly hailed. It's, you know, one of the most joyously entertaining films of the year. Um, how do you think you could just describe how audiences can expect when they go to the cinema and see it? Well, I've not seen the film myself yet. I see it tonight for the first time. Um, and I really wanted to experience it surrounded by an audience, a ravenous audience in a cinema, uh, rather than, you know, on a screen individually or have it screened individually. And so um, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing it with everybody tonight. Um, it's difficult to know what, what, what you want people to take away from, from any film that you make, but, um, but I think people are really ready for a little bit of entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, there are brilliant musical numbers. There's so, there are so many laughs. Uh, there are some fantastic performances. Alicia, who plays our Matilda, um, is so multi-talented and unbelievably, un unbelievably believable as Matilda. She and and in her in in herself is such a kind, thoughtful person. And so she's the, the sort of perfect person to play Matilda, who's in this very tough situation actually at home, but manages to find this solace in her imagination in literature. Um, and with her relationship with Miss Honey, which is very inspiring, mm -hmm. um, and Sindhu's character actually, so there's, she has a lot of inspirations around her, all related to literature, which is like, which is a fantastic theme, especially now I think, where mm -hmm. it feels a little bit like we're losing books as well. Mm -hmm. Matilda's the um, the gatekeeper of books or something. I don't know. She's like <laughs> she's the she's the the child in a story who who, who stands up for books. <laughs> I mean, I grew up reading Roald Dahl, you know, Matilda, definitely one of uh, his top books and, you know, really close to my heart. Mm. But of course, it's not a straight up adaptation. It's kind of gone through different iterations. I mean, we saw the Danny DeVito film, you know, back in the 90s. And then, of course, this is adapted from a musical. So where did you begin um, coming to Mrs. Wormwood? Did you kind of go back to the books? Had you, you know, also from seen the, the film a musical? Yeah. Certainly, yeah. I mean, I mean, well, I mean, first and foremost from the script, because that was the thing that was presented that Presented, was presented to me by Matthew, uh, our director. But, but actually, then back to the books. And what Matthew created with um, Matilda the Musical, he created a really, and Tim, a, a, a brilliant creative team had created this musical that, that had its own life aside from the book. Mm -hmm. um, so there's quite a lot to live up to. One thing I think to capture the essence of what it is to feel different and how to find solace within that is, is what we were all reaching for. And as, and as much mayhem and fun and laughter as you can have along the way, you know, the better. Um, but it very much felt like we, and we did, made a movie of the musical. Mm. So that was really, have, having gone back to the book, the musical is such a beautiful um, representation of that. And it felt very natural then to make it into a film, taking some pieces of the book that may not have made it even into the, into the musical. Um, and I'm so looking, I haven't seen it, and I'm so looking forward to seeing it tonight with everybody there. And such an incredible cast, as you're mentioning, um, but particularly, you know, Stephen Graham. I understand he had a bit of, um, he, he hesitated when he was first gonna, you know, take on the role, because he normally does kind of these social realist kind of films, and this felt like maybe a bit of a departure. But it looks like you and him just had a blast, kind of oh, taking on these characters and leaning into kind of the, the vulgarity, but also the fun and, and the costumes yeah. and everything. What was it like working with him and, and doing the physical transformation as well as getting into these characters? It was such fun. I mean, it was such, it was just, it was like um, the biggest Christmas present or something. You know, I can't explain it. It was just, just a lovely, lovely experience working with Stephen and Alicia and, and making the Wormwoods and that strange, very dark dynamic in the house. But we had loads of laughs in between because um, Mrs. Wormwood and Mr. Wormwood are actually just pretty horrible to Matilda, as they should be. That's their role in the in the in the book and the musical. Um, but we very much enjoyed being around each other. It, it felt it felt like the most brilliantly creative environment in the most incredible 
you know, the, the scene was set by the most beautiful production design, you know. So um, the attention to detail, even cocktails, swizzlers, you know, 80s cocktail swizzlers, every, every last detail was so wormwood and wonderful. Um, that, that, that really helped. Did you course. have, a, a, sorry, a favourite moment working with Alicia or Stephen or favourite part of your costume? I think I just loved all of the times in the house together. We have this very salmon pink house with a um, beautiful uh, open flowing staircase, which Mrs. Wormwood enjoys presenting herself down um, as much as possible. Um, and some salmon pink leather, pleather maybe, recliners, uh, a ginormous TV that's 50 times too big for the, for the room. Um, and being in that environment with the shag carpet, yeah, the, the, I think all of those scenes being at home were very special. And yeah, Probably not for Alicia, who was no. having an absolutely horrible time. <laughs> I think going back to to the story though as well and these characters, it kind of made me realise maybe I didn't sort of acknowledge when I was younger just how dark kind of his writing was. Certainly. And he does kind of, you know, paint these, you know, sort of adult characters, um, you know, really kind of leaning into, you know, the morality, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and also that, but that feeling also of, of innocence when, when you're a child and perhaps you don't understand the, the world beyond you. I mean, mm -hmm. um, so what do you think people can take away from, from this story? Well, I think you touched on it, innocence lost in a sense. I mean, it, it was a, it was, this was a, an older gentleman who was writing stories about his own childhood, you know, imagining his, his own childhood and others, others um, in his back garden, in his shed, in his own imagination. And in every way he is Matilda, Roald Dahl. Um, and I think what people take away always from the story, always from that, that storyline is is wanting to find your tribe or wanting to be accepted or you know uh, for Matilda that's literature and magic and that's where she finds solace um, and I think I think that's what time and time again people take away from Matilda is that the sort of reassuring idea that there's more out there, even if you're not satisfied with what's happening right now, mm. there's more out there. Looking at your own career, I mean, you seem to have this incredible ability to be kind of a comedian um, and, you know, traverse sort of big productions to indie films. Um, how do you choose your different roles? And maybe you can say a few words about, you know, you've been in Amsterdam recently, also to Leslie, um, some like your more other current projects. Um, I think, um People, I think people's what makes me gravitate toward any project. Um, normally that's not just because of the ability of the, of the person, say a fantastic writer, for example. If they're, if they're a really superb writer, they're normally a really superb person in, or an extraordinary person as well. Um, so I think people is the thing that makes me most gravitate toward a project. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to put something on a page and then have it become a brilliant reality, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I think you have to trust all of the elements that are going into the going into the project mm -hmm. and the, and the reason behind it, mm -hmm. the reason for it happening. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing I hate more than be, being in something that's going to make money mm -hmm. because I could just w work in the city <laughs> <laughs> or on Wall Street, which is great, but it's just it's just not my it's not what makes me tick. So mm -hmm. I, I love being part of of films that. Um, that are made by people who really, really care about bringing them into the world. And Matthew Walkers, the director of this film, has been working on it for 12, 13, actually by the time we finish this press, probably 14 years, mm -hmm. as has our costume designer Rob and many other creatives on this same piece. Um, and to see them be able to bring it to the screen after having had a, a life as a musical, it's, it's such a, that's a great reason to make the, the film of musical Matilda, you know. Definitely. I think I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing thank with you. us. Thank you. Can't wait for everyone else to see this in the cinema next week. Thanks thank so much. Thank you. <laughs>